Hello, 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 sellers. Come on in. Come on in. We're going to talk all about <gasps> never, 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 never say this to an eBay buyer. Never, never, never. Really, you absolutely want to avoid this mistake. And I actually thought of two mistakes when I was going over my thoughts for this stream. So come on in because you want to. No, no, no. Don't be doing this. Um, it's a great tip both for part time sellers and my full time sellers. So come on in. Um, those of you that are watching me live on Facebook, thank you. Thank you. I so appreciate you joining me um, on, my, on my business page. I love to be selling my YouTube people. Thank you. We're doing so great on YouTube. I appreciate all the views and the sub subscriptions. And if you haven't subscribed, do hit subscribe. Um, and those of you that download my podcast, uh, Kathy Terrell, I love to be selling. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I want to bring this up because you can get caught on this thinking that you're helping your buyer. Um, and it can actually not be the best thing to do. Hi, Vicki. Thank you for joining me. Um, so first thing um, for eBay, and this would certainly work for other platforms too, but I'm going to be speaking just about eBay because that is my area of expertise is you'll get messages and I'll get messages. Um, I love to be selling insider members, get messages. Um, my private clients get messages and they'll say, you know, what is the measurement on, and this can be clothing. This can be home decor. I mean, this can really be anything. If you think the lamp, um, you know, the scissors, uh, anything, it, it could be like a, a craft kit and they want to know the size of the finished product or, the size of the uh, the fabric, you know, that you're working. I mean, you can get a million questions about size. So the question will be, Vicki, and I bet you've run into this too, <laughs> is first thing is, and I've had this, especially this happens like at night and I'm checking my phone. Uh, what's the measurement? I'm going to pick a shirt. What's the measurement pit to pit? What's the measurement length? Which by the way, on tunics, this is a tunic. I always give length and the reason I give length, yeah, you too, right, Vicki? The reason I give length on tunics, but I also do it on dresses, shirts, men's shirts is, but particularly for women, is you want to know if the shirt is going to cover your butt. Um, and the other thing is for men's and women's is if it's tucking into the pants, like how much it's going to be tucking in. Okay. So that's why I always, and I don't always see sellers doing, I'll see a lot doing um, the pit to pit measurement or doing the full measurement as far as for bust or for chest. But I really encourage you to do length um, because again, you want to know like how much fabric is going into the pants um, and length, you know, because it might be a petite lady, might be a very tall lady or, you know, they, they want to know where it's going to hit them. Like if it's going to hit mid thigh, if it's going to hit knee and they know the measurement of the dress that they're looking for or the top that they're looking for. So it's always good to do length. So you'll get the question. So let's say they're messaging me, Vicki's messaging me. She's looking at the tunic um, and I've put the length in and I do it from the back of the neck um, down. If you want to do like front here down, fine. Let them know where you're measuring. Cause there's a big difference between um, the neckline down, especially like if it's a V um, or from the back of the, the neck, I always do back of the neck. Um, so it'll be in the listing and you'll get the question. And again, this tends to come in like at eight or nine at night when you're, you're at least for me, I'm sort of getting ready to hit the sack. Uh, how long is your tunic? How long is your dress? How long is the shirt? Right. Um, on the lampshade, how, how long, you know, what's the length on the lampshade, whatever it is, the diameter on the plate and it's in the listing, right? And sometimes sort of the smart aleck in me, <laughs> I sort of want to say, could you please read the listing? It's right there, right? I mean, that that's sort of your temptation. Um, I have learned not to do that. Um, so again, I'll be honest, in the past, like years ago, I would say measurements are in the listing or it's in the listing. And be sort of a smart aleck. And I'm going, you know, we're all tired. They're not reading or maybe they don't know to click. And if you don't know this, you guys, particularly on the um, mobile, you have to click to see the full description and maybe they're not doing it. Um, maybe it's in the item specifics, but again, they may be a newer seller. They just don't see it. They're tired too. Um, I don't know about you, but sometimes I'll get sales like at three in the morning and I'm going, oh my goodness. And it's East coast. 
again, they're coming off a night shift, whatever. Anyway, even if it's in the listing, and I might be very tempted. Sometimes I will say it is in the listing and it is, and I literally will copy and paste it out of the listing and I put it in the message and I'll say, thank you for your interest. I'm answering the question. I'm being cordial and polite. I too know what it's like and I've done it where I've read the listing and it's there. And for some reason, I just don't see it. What do you think is more likely to get the sale? The wonderful seller like Vicki and Kathy who answer and say it is in the listing and here it is. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for looking at my item. Guess who's going to get the sale rather than read the listing. <laughs> now, sometimes you haven't written it in the description. I do see sellers um, and I know it's advocated by some where they use pictures with tape measures. I think that's fine, but I do think that when you do that, or this is my advice when you do that, is also put the measurements in the description. Some people, again, they're looking at it, you know, maybe they're nearsighted, maybe they're having a hard time reading the ruler or the tape measure, I don't know. But I find it's also good to put it in the description. Okay, so answer, and you can even say, if it's in the pictures, if you have a tape measure, you can say, look at pictures three, four, five, and six. Look at pictures five, six, seven, and eight. And here it is. And give it to them. Be cordial. Be kind. Be professional. And a lot of times you'll get the sale, particularly at the holidays. People are really stressed. They're really tired. And they're flipping through listings fast. Whoops. And guess who's going to get the sale? It's the seller that is polite and kind. And I've even had um, shoppers... Uh, you know, and they'll just say, you know, thank you so much. I had a shopper once message me back, and I can't remember if it was measurements. It was some detail about the listing. And they said, do you know that you are the first seller that answered me back when I asked a question? Which says to me that they had messaged other sellers questions and never gotten a response. Again, What's going to encourage that buyer to shop on eBay? What's going to encourage that buyer to shop with you? What's going to encourage that buyer to come back? And, and maybe they won't shop with Kathy, but they'll shop with Vicki, right? So answer, answer politely. This is the big no-no though. And I actually had this happen um, actually just over the weekend. So buyer messages me um, saying, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in buying and I have my fun little props here. So I'm going to pick one. I'm interested in buying your pumpkin. <laughs> Can you guarantee it will be here by Friday? I'm leaving for a trip. Okay. Hi, Michael Phillips. Can you guarantee it's going to be here Friday? I'm leaving for a trip. Okay. I didn't even look at their address. I'm in New York City, by the way. So even if they were in New Jersey, okay, which is the next state over, even if they were in New York City, like two blocks away, never, never, this is me. Never, never, never do I promise delivery by X amount of date. I say, because in my business policies for my shipping on eBay, even on, so if, if it's free shipping, they're going to have free and they see what the service is and there's paid upgrades. They can upgrade to priority. They can upgrade to express. If it's paid shipping, and on this item, there was free and then paid upgrades. And they were in Texas, by the way. I'm New York City, okay? There was free and paid upgrades. My response to them wasn't, <laughs> and again, this is me in my mind. I'm going, are you kidding? Um, uh, you know, see, the response is not, are you kidding? Are you nuts? You know, my response is, as you check out, Look at the shipping options that are shown to you. Pick the one that's best for you. And the reason I say it like that, obviously I'm writing, is they're responsible for their choice. If you say, so Michael's shopping with me, and Michael's in Washington, D.C. If Michael's shopping with me, I go, absolutely, no problem. Because let's say my free shipping is priority. You don't know. There might be a big storm, something happened. I mean, who knows, right? Who knows? I currently have something that's sort of taking a long time to get to Georgia, 
But my suspicion is it's because of the hurricane. It might have, you know, delayed some stuff. Um, so no, again, as you're checking out, you will see the options if they want. And, and I keep it that simple. I don't say things like go on the USPS website and look at what they say, ground advantage, how long it will take to get to you or, or priority or whatever. I keep it very simple because that way, if for any reason, <clears throat> this one guy, I do not think he's going to get his item as fast as he would like to because he didn't pay for the upgrade. Okay. Is that way he can't come back at me and say, you promised I would have it by Friday. Okay. Because then you get into a whole back and forth and you get an unhappy buyer. That way, should it arrive late, and my suspicion is it's going to, and they get angry at me, which they might, um, I can say, you know, I'm so sorry that it arrived when it got there. Because I am. It would have been nice if it got there in three or four days, but they didn't pay for priority mail. Um, they can't say, but you promised me because I didn't. I said look at your, and it's all in eBay messages. That's the other thing. Please, please, please never, never, never take the conversation out of eBay messages. Stay in eBay messages. Okay. And you respond that way. It's their choice. It's not on you. Even if it's the next state over, even if they're literally down the block from you, I actually had a buyer just buy me and I looked at the address. They're literally like two blocks from my house. Like I could probably walk it over there. Even if they are that close, I never, never, never promise delivery by a certain date ever. I always tell them it's their choice and to look at the choices that are offered. Two months ago, I had a buyer wanted to know if a swimsuit would arrive by her vacation date. I can't guarantee it. Exactly. And it was arrived to arrive through. Things can happen. I mean, we just went through these horrible hurricanes, right, with Helene and Milton. What if I had shipped before that date and I'm shipping into Florida or into Georgia or into the Carolinas before we realized how really horrible they were going to be. And, you know, it's in the post office or it's being held at a hub because they don't want to ship into the post office. I mean, who knows? There's so many different things that can happen. I'm sure you've all experienced it. I have here in New York is I've had mail <laughs> get to California and this is just regular, not uh, not expedited. Get to California faster than Long Island. And Long Island is like an hour, an hour and a half away. It's like, who knows? I have no idea. I have no, So I never, never, never. And I'm bringing this up. That's why I'm streaming. Um, is because we're going, we are in fourth quarter. Okay. And this is going to become more and more urgent as we get into November and December. And I was actually looking, there's actually five less shopping days this year between Black Friday and Christmas, okay? So my suspicion is it's it's gonna get urgent because people will wait till the first week in December, the second week in December, wherever you are in the United States, um, you know, you're gonna get these questions and you're gonna be tempted, new sellers and my wonderful advanced sellers, particularly when people are close by, to say, oh yeah, no problem, because your your free shipping or the baseline shipping you're offering is priority. Oh yeah, oh yeah, don't, don't. because if something goes wrong, it's on you. Okay, just say you're going to see the choices and make the choice that's best for you. Now I do let them know because it's true. I ship within one business day. I personally walk my packages to the post office. The reason I do that here in New York City um, is that my post office has five pickups a day. And if I get it in before 1030 in the morning, the mail is actually on its way by 12 o'clock. It's like it goes out. OK, some days during the holidays, I will do multiple drops, like if it's super peak season or somebody's really in a rush and I'm sort of going in that direction anyway, I will do an extra drop. But typically what I do is everything is packed up the night before or first thing in the morning. And I make sure I make that first drop because it really makes a difference. Now, I realize a lot of folks, um, depending on your post office, you may only have one pickup a day. But know when that is because it can really make a difference to move your mail. But the thing to never, never, never. And I don't say a lot of things about never. A lot of times I'm like, you know, do what's best for you and make your choices but especially on this one is never, unless it's local pickup and they're coming. But even then, sometimes they say, yeah, they're going to come that day and then they don't. So I never, never, never guarantee delivery by a certain date, no matter how close they are 
no matter what shipping service they're paying for, I don't. I just say, look at the checkout, make the choice that's best for you. And I do offer a variety of choices. Okay. So keep that in mind as you're going into fourth quarter. Um, you know, you're going to get those questions. They always come November, December, particularly in December. And I absolutely want to please my buyers and I absolutely want to make them happy. I know we all do. But making a promise that you don't control and we don't control the right. We don't control. We'd love to, but we don't control the USPS or FedEx or UPS. It's just let them know. Let them know your handling time because that could be a big help. Everything goes out within one business day. Um, if you do ship on Saturdays, um, let them know. I do sh like if they're ordering on Friday, that will go out tomorrow. OK, um, but never, never. Ne oh, yeah, no problem. It'll be there. Don't say that. Don't do it because inevitably that's the one package that gets delayed or gets sent all over the United States. Right. You've, we've all done that. Right. You ship it. I'll pick New Jersey again. It's going to New Jersey. It goes to Maine. It goes to Chicago. It goes to California. And then it goes to New Jersey. There's always one of those every year. Um, and speaking of fourth quarter, um, there's a lot of stuff that's selling right now. Um, and a big variety of things. And I've done a free guide for you. It's on my website. I love to be selling. Fall, winter, essential products guide. Grab it. Again, you might be very aware of, of certain categories. Like let's say you're really good on clothing. You're really good on jewelry. But there's a huge range of things that sell this time of year. Because um, again, we're into Halloween, the Thanksgiving, Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah. But there's also things, you know, you've got, you still got a tail end of back to school. Uh, particularly for college students that are buying their own items. Um, so grab this. If you don't know, I did work in retail um, for, gosh, like 15 years, different brick and mortars here in the city, um, like Macy's and Bloomingdale's and Crate and Barrel. And I was on QVC for six years. So the retail seasons, I'm, I'm good on. And I'm good on tracking that. So grab the guide. You'll love, love, love it. Um, let me just see. Vicki says, I tell them once it leaves my hand and delivered to the post office, I have no control. It's so true. You know, and again, you stay in contact, you let them know, you let them know to click the, you know, the shipping thing so they can stay on top of it. Um, but never, never, never promise a delivery date. It will just hurt you. It really, really will. Uh, but grab the free guide, Fall Winter Essential Products Guide. You'll love using it. Great, everybody. I'm Kathy, and I love to be selling on eBay. Bye-bye.